Hello. So this is going to be a hopefully a new thing that I can start doing more of where I watch your gameplay and critique it and hopefully try to help you think about the game at a higher level and improve way faster than you would just throwing your head against the wall. This is a good friend of mine, Goon. He's a very good player from the SEA server, and he sent me his gameplay to critique. I have someone else with me. Uh, say hi. Hello. I am not Goon. And I think we, I are, I we are... He's going to be the stand-in for the more casual, the lower skill person. Oh, so okay. I see. He's got... What? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Video. Video. So right off the bat, I'd prefer if he was running ahead here, letting his teammates hit this. For the simple fact that these grenades need to be in this doorway as it's opening. What if there's a bulwark or something? He does prep it, though. Yeah, but it's, it's too late to have prepped it because the door's already open. Enemies are already aggroed. Mm -hmm. So he gets it anyway. So I already, I, I know he has, I asked him before recording this. I know he has demo team. So I already don't like how he's playing this because demo team means you want to have, uh, you want to have, you want to have one grenade because mm -hmm. if, if he gets a grenade right now from one, there's like five elites here, 5% chance on each elite. You know, you're talking 25% chance almost that he gets a grenade back here. If that procs and he gets it, this goes away. So the 20 seconds he's built up on this immediately goes away. So that's something I'm not too fond of. I also don't like just standing here doing nothing in close range with ragers while you reload. And I don't like spending ammo here. He is using the original shovel, which is terrible in this situation. And this is why this shovel's really not good. Because he spent, if we look at his ammo, he spent about 30, 40 bullets almost here. And that's ammo he could have saved by just knifing or power sword or whatever. I I don't like shooting. I don't like oh I don't like shooting mutants at all, especially not with this shovel because the alt attack on this shovel would stun them. That's still a bad habit that I have. I also don't like shooting flamers. Flamers take triple damage from melee. If you and and the closer you, if you're within melee distance of them, they don't fire. So make so if he got into melee here, he could have killed almost immediately. Again, I don't think this shovel can one shot here. That's why I rated it as like the worst veteran weapon. We are we've already we are literally thirty seconds in, and we have encountered three situations that could have been optimized by had just picking a better you know not losing on the loadout screen. Even if you are going to use a melee weapon that isn't super good at the stuff I'm talking about, you still want to do it. By the See, way, ev fun. every single thing that he's killed so far, 5% chance to immediately get a grenade and make this buff go to waste. If this goes to waste, you might as well not pick the, the talent. I also don't like how he didn't pop his head into this room. Uh, this room has two potential spawn points for drops, like pickups. I use the mod found ya, so I could easily just walk in this room, look in it, just be like, okay, there's nothing in there. That's part of why I'm constantly sprinting, constantly using the knife. It lets me check drop. This is perfect. That's exact. Yeah, well, the, no, 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 actually, actually not perfect. This shovel oh. light attack does about as much damage as the heavy attack. And you he, want to stagger it with his alt attack? So, so he's, yeah, yeah, but look, look, he hits this barrel. So this barrel could blow up, uh, hurt his teammates. They would have no way of knowing it's here. And this is a potential stun if they get pushed back here that he's giving up. Hold on, I'm curious if any of his teammates lose health from that barrel. No, they didn't. Also, how does his teammates all have the exact same amount of health? That's fucking weird. <coughs> Both behavior. He's not timing his dodges with you. Uh, yeah, the yeah, shotgun, yeah. He's not, he's Which not. Is, he comes also, down to habit. He also could have pushed them over with the shout to get the shout back ruling on cooldown. And he also could have just ran in with melee to stop them from shooting altogether. Hold on. Can you go back five or ten seconds? Maybe he waited because he had gold toughness when he was getting shot at. I don't really think that would make any difference. Yeah. This isn't uh, vermin. It just came up on cooldown. It just came yeah. up on cooldown. Well, it's also his teammates didn't have it either. Yeah. That was fine. Okay. Yeah, see, that's what he should yeah, have done in the corner. So, now, okay, but like right here. So now you're getting rushed by armor. That barrel, I'm not saying it will. I'm saying maybe 5% of the time that barrel ends up being a big help. That it, yes. and giving it up for no reason is dumb. Also, let's say that mutant activates demo team here. 
you lose, you know, a buff this deep into it. Okay, I don't like grenading here either, especially when he has health bars. And I know I just said he should be grenading more, but he should have been grenading more before. Like, when he first entered this hallway, he should have thrown a grenade. But, like, right here. So, you already see the three crushers are almost dead. By the time you pull the grenade out, throw it, the bleed starts ticking, they're going to be already dead. And that's yeah, almost exactly dead. what happens. But he did have to throw it. He did have to throw. Oh, so, look, he did get demo team just now. Look. Yeah. So, look, look. Oh, no, wait. That was just this. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he throws it. Look. He gets a grenade yep, proc right here. And look, look, look. One. Literally, look at how close. This is what I mean. This is not just me nitpicking and being like a sweaty loser. Look at how close he is to losing out on a 60 second grenade right here. So look, he throws. Demo, Demo team. Yeah, literally <laughs> this. One to two seconds off. Yeah, no, no, seriously. If he hadn't thrown that grenade, he would have just wasted 59 seconds of this buff. And... I'm making such a big deal about it because people do this kind of thing all the time. And it's like, why even pick the talents at that point? So I, I like ditching the grenade here. Get this back rolling. And yeah, look, that pre-grenade around the corner. Got Ragers. He should be throwing another grenade. Uh, well, I mean, look, look at the damage one grenade caused. He should have had another grenade in that hallway ready to go. I'm also not too big a fan of gunning down this horde. Because there's a purge staff psyker. Oh, look, look, he just got demo team. Now your buff is back to waste. Let's see how long it takes him to realize that happened. Yeah, a melee would have stopped this. He could have stunned that with the melee. Oh, he's not throwing a grenade here either. Yeah, this hallway has a lot of things in it always. He could have a grenade chucked down here. This would be a grenade down the Yeah, this is this would be a great grenade spot. And look, every single, every single thing up here is a potential grenade wasted. All, he's, he's like 15 seconds since he hit three grenades. So we're 15 seconds wasted on our grenades. We're like seven potential activations of demo team. And this is the kind of thing that adds up over the course of a Mailstorm game. This is the kind of thing that adds up big time. Okay, here we go. We're spending the grenade. Good. Let's just spend another one. Yeah, he also needs to just let his teammates deal with these bulwarks. Okay, yeah. I like this grenade. That's good. Yeah, I, I like that grenade a lot. I would run through here, because over here on the left, there's a safe spot. But, I don't know. I could understand. I understand this line, this play. I understand this line of thinking a lot. I like how that trapper made, like, no noise sneaking up on him. Yeah, this is all fine. Really? That was almost risky. If he had ran forward, he would have get sh he would have got shitted on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good. He's covering his teammate here. We've also got someone running around getting pickups on the left side. Which is nice. You should always have someone over there. Yeah, I like sitting back here to deal with these two dogs. I'm curious what he does with this stim. Oh yeah? Good grenade? Yeah, that's good. Keeps the grenade in line with where you want it. Really weaken yep. them for his teammate to finish him off with the staff. <laughs> Hold on. Some, 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 something, something I want to comment on. <laughs> That area over there has three potential spawn points in it. And again, this is where you really need mods like found ya. So you could just, from this position in this doorway, you just look over there. Maybe there's red ammo. Maybe there's grenade. Maybe there's large plasteel. Maybe there's a stim. God forbid, maybe there's a crate, you know? And with a mod like found ya, all it takes is one flick of your mouse. You have all the information. You go right back to what you're doing. But right now, he has no knowledge of what's in there. There could be a med crate in there that could be with field improv a uh, full, like, Medicaid worth. And it's like, you might just be giving that up. You never know unless you just look. And it does not take much effort to look. Okay, so he is using Foundry because we can see these drops from back here. Yeah, look at that. He got swarmed with grenades. Okay, so there is, there is resources over there. 
I would run Let's up to that one back. Yeah, Let's I would. I would run up to uh, to that tox flamer just to, so that they don't, you know, they don't potentially shoot fire into this hallway. Mm -hmm. His teammates. I like grenading here to help his teammates out because his teammates are getting fucked up. I could. Oh god, this guy used Medicaid. This is not a very s strong team that he's with. This guy used Medicaid during a horde way before they're ready to move out. If this guy takes any extra damage, he effectively wasted it. He should definitely look behind him. He's got someone back there, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I like how he looked back to check that door. Yeah. But I think it was just a little too slow. I bet... Yeah, I bet it came out of that door, like, just about now. Oh. oh. Okay, so we've oh. got grenades. We've got a stim. He should absolutely be stimming yeah. here. Okay, I like this grenade. He needs to... Stim and shout. Nah, okay. I don't like shouting here. I don't like shouting here because he should have saved the shout for around now-ish. But, yeah. Yes, I it, think he should have been closer with shout and gotten more. Yeah, he could have got a lot more value out of Shout here. He also could have stimmed in preparation for this and used the 25% attack speed on this slower firing but heavier hitting auto gun and absolutely wrecked these crushers. Did he just get another grenade back, by the way? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, well, he had one when they were coming up. Go back. Yeah, he spent one. He got one from his green buff, see? Yeah, that's what I'm s Okay, yeah, he could have spent the second one then. Yeah, see? like, like, he like. Pull down right about. Now, yep. He could have yeah, spent yeah. If he, if he had the stun, he could have spent another. Oh wait, what the hell happens here? Does this veteran fucking blow himself up? <laughs> he gets gun. No way, he gets gun right here. No, this oh, guy. Oh no, the this... psyker blew himself up. Yeah. So remember that Medicaid this guy used? Yeah. Now it's really starting to feel painful. That is just. I like that. I like. Yeah, it is. But I like the that shout. Off. Yeah. yeah, he's got to focus on killing these specials. Right now, his top priority, kill the specials, get his shout back on cooldown, keep his team shouted up. Ooh. Okay, his shout's about to come okay. back. Look, his shout's already back. He, he needs he's to be using he it. needs to be using shout so much more. Yeah, there you go. Look, down to 15 seconds. Okay. In this circumstance, what? I would say, in this circumstance... In this circumstance, I agree with him killing the trapper before going for the unnet. Kill the trapper, get your shout back on cooldown, throw out more toughness, more stuns. Yeah. I didn't hear the trapper there. He's I gotta... I feel like he's gotta be a bit more ahead right now, killing these gunners. Especially since he's got an auto gun, he should have a lot of suppression. He should totally be fighting these gunners. Mm-hmm. Also, he's got to spend a grenade. You have a hound wave coming, two grenades with demo team. You're virtually guaranteed to get at least one back. So in my mind, he's already at three grenades. Yeah. He should be setting up in a he's choke just waiting point. waiting for confirmation where they're coming from. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he should be setting up in a choke point. I don't like how his teammates down here. I would not jump down at all. Oh, yeah, no. they have to. They're going to jump down. Oh, no. I would have stayed Run up there. The left in front. Yeah. A look, look, his grenade's already oh, back. He already got a grenade back. So look, look, ah, uh, okay, I like this shout. Out. I like all the ammo from Survivalist, but look at this. This is one, possibly two potential grenades for free, and those bleeds will kill those things. So there he could have just pre-prepped this, had it dropped. Yeah, okay, I like this. Little late, yeah, but had he thrown yeah. those grenades down there where the crushers were coming from, they would have already been taking that damage. We probably could have had enough grenades for the crushers after the hound wave if he'd spent them. Yeah, this does absolutely nothing. This is complete waste of everything. Never do this with the uh, old shovel. Okay, good dodge. Yeah, he would be so much better off just making space and shooting. Just bashing away at these guys with the shovel is completely worthless. That's why the new shovel well, is just so much yeah. better. Yeah, I was about to say, that just applies to the old shovel. New shovel, if you're in that situation, you should absolutely be picking them to death. Yeah, okay, I like this. Okay. I see why he likes this one though, the stagger. Oh, I don't think the stagger is very good at all. They should be running up to here and he should be pinging the ground so that they, uh, that might be what he's doing. Uh, yeah, they, they have, have to. 
Yeah, and so again, this is where it matters a lot. Had he spent those grenades before so he could have let Demo Team restore grenades on dogs, he could have ended that dog phase with two plus grenades, only spent like one or two on the crushers, and this would have already been procced. Oh, there we okay. go. Okay, I like this I like stimulus, that. yeah. Okay, okay his shout. teammate got fucking destroyed. He probably could have saved his teammate with Shout here, actually. Let me look. Mm. So, Shout is back right now. This, this, He's this, right up there. No, no, this is why. No, they're in four coherency. No, no, no. What I'm saying is... No, yeah, no, no, no. He, he died. Yeah, there. but look, they're in four coherency. Had he shouted as soon as it came back, he would have had gold toughness. This pox burster would not have dealt damage through the gold toughness. This teammate death mm, is 100% okay. preventable by him. And he probably just didn't even know this was on cooldown. This is why UI design is so, so, so important. You want this shit dead in the middle of your screen. So you know for a fact, I hear a pox burster. This is why my coherency and this is in the middle of my screen. Because if I'm in this situation... I'm seeing, right now, this is my thought process if I'm in this situation. I'm seeing, I have six seconds on shout. I'm in full coherency. I'm I'm already clicking F. I'm seeing, okay, I hear a pox burster. I'm in full coherency. I'm already looking. I have like one, two seconds left on my thing. I need to use this on cooldown. Get It gets these enemies off of me, which lets me go back to my stronger gun. It prevents my teammates from potentially dying. This is a... This is a massive, massive misplay on Goon's part. And he tries to do it. He's just not quick enough. I don't know if he's not yeah. quick enough. And I think he's not quick enough because maybe he just doesn't have the information. Or he wasn't, like, preemptively thinking about this situation. But this is a 100% preventable teammate death. I and now he was thinking about the pox burster. I think he was just thinking about getting oh, the, uh, And now here's a, here's another thing. Okay, so the pox burster was the problem here. They're getting shredded by pox bursters. So let's just play the situation out differently. If he had done this a second or a hair sooner, this guy would still be alive. Right now, pox burster is beeping. You have to be even if if you need mods, but like the the sound effect is playing. But if this isn't enough, if you need mods, then you do what you got to do. But you need to recognize I hear another pox burster. We're up against the corner. If this pox burster doesn't get pushed, we all blow up. That's a huge problem. Granted, they all have gold toughness. But look, this guy's no good in melee. He takes a hit. And then now you're pushed up. So the second you hear that beep and you know it's a tight situation, you have to say, I'm making this my problem. I'm going to handle this. But now they get... Ooh. Oh, okay, this okay, is... Okay. this. Yeah, this so, is really bad melee. That should have been an instantaneous hold block, try and dodge yeah. out and throw a grenade. Because he has yeah. his grenade count go up. Yeah, so look, right from, here, uh, as soon as yeah. you're in this, yeah, think about this situation. You know you just got blown up by a pox burster. Your toughness, gone. You know any hit you take is going straight to health right now. So right now, you need to think, I need defense, 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 defense. So right now, you hold block, you use your push attack, you start dodging around to try and get out. At the moment you make a monicum of space, you do an underhanded grenade throw on your feet. This is a horrible, horrible, horrible misplay. This, this, for as good as Goon is, this is the kind of play that makes you go like, you, you go back and go like, man, I really fucked up here. And yeah, he knows there's ragers around, so there's a rager in here as well. So, this is maximum danger. Now, that's why he died. Which, this was... This was so preventable of a death. So, there, there, this is this is the series of errors. And this is why this all this little stuff really matters. Because, look, had he done any of the little things differently here... This is 100... So, everyone's at fault here, sure. But, because they... they each player has the potential to do the kind of stuff I'm talking about right now... But I'm yeah. just talking about if if I was in Goon's situation, this is how I would try to handle this situation. So right here, I already look. I'm under five second cooldown. The moment I notice I'm under five second cooldown, I'm already hitting the button for the ultimate. So that means that I hit this button, the frame it goes off, which is right now. The golden toughness is instant. So this guy's instantly getting gold toughness. He's not dying to this. So we still have four people. Then, as soon as I hear the pox burster and we're pushed up against the wall with a horde, I'm instantly running at it. I'm making it my problem. Even if it just hits me, as long as it just hits me and it doesn't hit my teammates, that's fine. So then this doesn't happen. 
And then if I, even if this does happen, at the very least, I know I have no toughness. I'm pushed up against the horde. I'm holding block. I'm dodging backwards. I'm trying to get out. I'm using my push attacks. Because here's the thing. Look at all the stamina he has. He can do about 12 push attacks right now. And there's only poxwalkers behind him in one rager. He can absolutely be spamming push while using his dodge and getting out of this situation. So there was no reason to go down here. The rager wasn't even hitting him. Yeah, the rager or was the still stunned. The one that stunned. was behind him. The one that's in front of him was hitting him. There's two. But, yeah. Another he's thing. Another thing. Dodging backwards and setting up grenades to. Another thing that I'm doing way. is if I'm in this. If my teammate dies, I'm picking up this med box. I wouldn't even. <laughs> I was about to say. I wouldn't even be in this position in the first place over in this corner because I'm picking up this med box. And then the moment. The moment this happens, I'm like, this guy has corruption damage. I'm losing health. We're all out of toughness. The moment this happens, I'm thinking I'm placing down medbox. Better to use it here than to die. You'll get another one. There's two medboxes per map. Yeah, this, this whole team was really... His teammates were really rough. They did not back him up here at all. Yeah, because look, this Psyker's completely turned around, totally oblivious to the Pox Burster. Right here, I would be pulling the gun out and shooting these Razors, picking them off, if I'm not dealing with the Pox Burster. But yeah, this, ah, oh man, this is, this shovel's so rough. Because, like, oh, he's also got Uncanny on it. I'm also going to go ahead and say this is a loadout issue. Because imagine if he has a power sword here, sake of the argument. If he's got a power sword, just just sake of the argument. So right now, he's doing light attack. He's doing light attack, light attack. This whole crowd is dead. This weapon, this, this old shovel, it is physically not good enough of a weapon to fight out of this situation. You have to use mobility and the stamina to put yourself in a better position. Sh more meta weapons like the Devil's Claw Sword. Uh, dude, fucking Devil's Claw Sword, you just hit the parry here and you swipe half this horde away. You know, you savage sweep, you parry, you kill all this shit. And then it's like, a Devil's Claw Sword, a knife could just block its way out, a power sword kills its way out. This shovel is a bad enough weapon, and he doesn't have a stagger setup on it either, that you cannot fight out of this situation with it. And if you're going to use bad lower tier weapons like this, you have to be conscious that they are bad lower tier weapons, and you need to say, I can't fight out of a bad situation. And this is why I make such a big deal out of the weapons people choose, because this situation totally is winnable with just mashing M1 with the power sword. It's not, if you're going to use the shovel, you got to think about it at a little bit of a higher level. Let's see, is there anything else to make comment on? I want to look at his ultimate earlier on real quick. Because he does, he actually seems to be pretty good about his ultimate use. He doesn't seem to let it sit for very long. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's is gonna call it there, unless there's anything you want to add or look back on. No, that's pretty. Also, yeah. I like I like the psyker question marking when he's the fucking one who blew himself up <laughs> and died to a pox burster. Nice question marks, buddy. Um, did he go back for? By the way, did he go back for Medicare? Or did he just have? Yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. Work. Was there even Medicaid available? Hold on. What was the Medicaid situation like? Yeah. I'm actually very curious how many this left might there was. Be entirely on the psyker. Yeah, this could also just straight up be this psyker's fault. Well, if he hadn't eaten the Medicaid before they moved, no, that out, was it would have been that was this one who nope. ate the Medicaid. Oh, Septimus. Yeah. By the way, this is another thing. Had this guy not used the Medicaid to heal here, and had he saved it for a more dire situation, you know, yeah, there was a lot. There was a there was a there was a string of severe misplays that caused this. But hold on. There's two Medicaid charges. So let's look in double speed. Oh my god, this 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 psyker should not be on Auric. This this might just that might just be the takeaway. He blew himself up and didn't go back for the Medicaid, which then led to him dying instantly to the first enemy that could kill him. Which then led to the team getting overran. This dude probably shouldn't just shouldn't be on Maelstorm. This guy should be back in damnation quick play. That that might be the ultimate takeaway. Hold on. That or he's just having a really, really, really shitty game. Okay, so look, look, he med stations. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Do they both med station? Because I don't agree with this med station at all if he uses it. Okay, so this guy med stations. How much health does he heal? 
He's got 113 health. And what does he go up to? 165. So he heals 50. This Psyker heals about 100. Yeah. Okay, so there's no Medicaid left at this point. I don't think this guy should have healed. I don't think this guy should have healed whatsoever. I think at the very least, he should have waited until they got in. Well, but again, he's using slow. He's using the Force Sword, which fucking sucks. Again, this is another loadout skill issue. How do you use a more meta weapon like a knife or a, or even a tactical axe because he's playing Psyker? You can buff it up to where it's really good. How do you use a more mobile weapon? He would have been able to safely not Medicaid, run forward. This guy would have blown up. There would have been Medicaid left for him to run back to. They would have been quick enough that they could quickly run back, grab the Medicaid, and then not be in the bad situation. And it's just like there's... A lot of these problems they're encountering are because they're trying to play quickly with really slow weapons. So it just leads to this compounding issue. They also are spending way too much time on these sections. They need to be pushing forward so that they aren't getting hordes. Okay, here's another thing, by the way. So you get the armor rush, yeah. And then what? What? what's the situation like as soon as this armor rush ends? Did you hear that? That was the horde sound. Yeah. This is another, this is a full four player team issue right here. Look. This is a horde sound. You hear this horde sound effect, you go back in this tunnel. You do not push up to here because exactly what happened happens, especially on Maelstorm where there's modifiers and waves specials can spawn. They absolutely should have recognized the danger they're in. Horde just spawned. We are in a potential, like, clinch situation. So, instead, they know a horde's coming. They've got... Also, listen. Listen. So, so, okay. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Wait. This was a special wave, actually. Right here. Yes. Which is where all the bursters came from. Yeah. Okay. This makes total sense now. That's a special wave sound effect. This is a horde, and one of the characters called it out with subtitles that a horde is coming. So you know that you're at the tail end of a special wave, and a horde is spawning, and you run into gunners. Like, they totally deserve to lose here. This was every four player making <laughs> making massive errors. If So if this is me, I'm using a knife. I'm always using the knife. I'm sprinting ahead to grab this crate so that my teammates don't get it and don't misuse it. And then I'm hearing, oh, Horde? Oh, special? I At the very least, here's another thing they could have done. They This is like a cut corner. This is a deaf corner. Had they gone in this room, they would have had all that area to go back and kite into. They could have fought in this choke point, then in that choke point. But instead, they choose the worst possible place to fight. They have to fight things in front of them, things coming from behind them, and things... Um, coming from their front. Whereas right here, had even just one person, like, again, if this is me, I'm sprinting here to pick up the crate anyways. I hear that, oh, all this horde shit is spawning. I am ping, 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 pinging the ground. If my teammates don't come, I don't fucking care. I'll stand in the window and shoot, throw grenades, do what I can to support them, but I'm not leaving this fucking room if I'm hearing all this stuff. And I'll spam ping. I'll say, hey, come to me, come to me. Because again, had they been stacked up here, those pox bursters, they either could have shot them through the choke point, just spammed pushes on the choke point. Yeah, this, this team definitely deserved to lose. Because from right about, from right about here to the end of the clip, all four players misplay a lot, like a lot, a lot. Also, one thing that's really annoying is this guy has a plasma gun. He could totally... Like, what is the plasma gun guy doing right now? Okay, he's, he's missing. He's missing plasma shots is what he's doing. Throwing crack grenades. Why are you using plasma... Oh my god, this team lost on the fucking loadout screen. Why are you using cracks and plasma gun at the same time? They both do the literal exact same thing. Had this veteran had brought shredders instead of cracks, he could have thrown shredders when they were pushed in the corner to stun everything to fight their way out. Like, there is so much that could have happened here. 
And even if you don't want to make any of those loadout changes, again, you have to be conscious of it. If you say, okay, well, I want to play with this stuff, but it's, but I'm missing these things, be conscious of that. Say, hey, I don't have shredders, so if I'm pushed up against the horde, there's nothing I can do. I need to think of choke points to fight in. And again, so what makes this really frustrating is that this guy's like a level 300 vet, and he's not recognizing... I don't have good horde ability. I don't have shredders. I have the plasma gun, which is good at hordes coming at me through choke points, but not so much in the open. The only thing he's got is the, the, um, his primary weapon, the, the, the chain sword. And the chain sword, unless you're putting savage sweep on it, which you should always do, by the way, but, um, unless you're doing a, like, wrath or savage sweep, has very bad horde clear. So he should realize his build has pretty fucking awful horde clear. He should be running in here. At level 300, he should have enough experience and familiarity with veteran to know, run in here. Because again, dude, imagine you get a plasma gun vet in this choke point. He starts spamming plasma gun shots here. Literally all this stuff dies before the rest of the team even gets to fight it. Also, what, what did these guys even die to? I understand Goon dying to all this shit, but like, what did these guys die to? I would love to see their point of view. Yeah. So wait. Because I feel like it would make a lot more sense. Damn, that vet did not respond to the thing. So look, mm -hmm. there's one rager back there. That's literally it. So they got pox bursted. This guy took a rager hit. Then he took the second hit from the ragers, like, because they do two hits at once. And yeah. then, so what's going on here? There is a rage. This guy dies like instantly. Holy fuck! He lit he literally dies in two hits. Okay, he gets hit by the pox. Yeah, he gets hit by the burster that came around. Then look, there's rager. Rager attack one. Rager attack two. I'm gonna say something right. I'm gonna say something a little elitist. This guy has no business playing maelstrom. This guy had a bad loadout, did not play to his loadout strength. He had a bad loadout, played to his loadout's weaknesses. None of his items really synergized with each other. Think about it. The chainsword does significant single target damage. The plasma gun does significant single target damage. Neither of them are super great at clearing the horde unless special conditions are met. He is using an unsynergistic, unwell thought out loadout, and he is playing to its weaknesses. I feel like if you've played a class for 300 levels, that's like, you know, two, maybe that's like 300 plus hours of gameplay on that class. I feel like at that point, if you still haven't picked up on like, I'm using this loadout, I need to play it this way. Because here's the other thing. This guy single handedly with the plasma gun could have held this room's choke point just by shooting into the doorway and one shotting everything. Because it has unlimited cleave, so it just fucking kills everything. He could have single handedly handled this horde by himself. Mm -hmm. And this guy, I I don't I don't know what this guy's doing. This guy's a really low level, and like it's kind of you know lack of experience maybe. Yeah, that just might be lack of experience. So I'm not gonna go after that guy because I don't want to like shit on new players. See, I I I will say this guy maybe maybe I I also don't know how many characters he has, but I'm gonna say this. This guy probably shouldn't be here until he gets a little bit more experience. This guy fucking probably just doesn't know what he's doing. This guy is in the borderline of like, you know, and Goon just needs to fucking be comfortable using <laughs> using not the garbage items. So. And this is another thing. I already know someone's going to comment. They're going to be like, oh, why are you such a elitist? Just because people don't use the, the good weapons. If you die and the death could have been prevent presented by better building, then I feel like it's fair to criticize it at that point, you know? Especially when you're talking Auric Maelstrom. Like, you know, if it's, you... if you if Certain stuff just doesn't work there unless you're playing to its weaknesses. Or, yeah, to its strengths. Or to its strengths, but you have to be in mind. Like, you have to keep in mind its weaknesses. Like, See, like, like here's the thing. With their weaknesses in mind. Like, like, here's the thing. You know what the shovel's really bad at? It's really bad at just doing damage. But you know what it's really good at? It's really good at staggering things. But it can, only, it can only stagger things that are clumped up. So, like, right here, this, this would be good for the shovel, but not while you're getting attacked. 
All right. I think I'm going to end it here and upload it and see what happens. All right. All right.